Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can list containers and the blob inside containers using Spark. So whenever we talk about the data lake, right? In that case, how we can list containers in the Spark and inside the container, if there are, uh, you know, multiple blobs which are present, multiple folders that are present inside that container, we are going to see how we can list them using Spark. So let's move ahead and see exactly how we can do that. But before moving on, I do recommend all of you to connect with me on LinkedIn as well as on Instagram and I will leave the link in the description box as well. So now, before moving on, I would like to show that this is a storage account, all right, and where we will be trying to list the containers and we will be trying to list the blobs, right? If you see, you see storage 6. So this is the storage accounts that I have and I want to list the containers. So what are the containers present? Container, container 2, container 3 and container 4. These are the containers which are present and inside container 2, I have these directory 1, directory 2, 3, 4 and 5. These are the multiple directories that are present inside this particular container 2 as well. So we have blobs inside the container and we have these containers. So basically what I want to do is I want to start uh, listing the containers as well as the blobs right so now to do that in spark what do we do like when we want to do it in the data break so we have to use something called as blob service client right now what is this blob service client you need to understand this that this blob service client is nothing but it is a class provided by azure software development toolkit for python so whenever you know you are using python it is especially a class provided by azure sdk right that blob service client which helps you to interact with the blob storage right to so any services uh, associated to your azure blob you can interact you can manage your azure blob using this blob service client right it has various methods and functionalities for providing operations on the blob storage so right now i want to list right so list containers if you see over here this list container is nothing but it is a blob service client to list all containers which are present within a storage account. Similarly, if I want to get a container client, right? Now, using the container client, now there is another client method which is present, which is called as container client. Now, using this container client along with the blob service client, right? I can interact with a specific container. Now, the first thing is I want to interact with my storage account, right? This I will do with my blob service client. And then if I want to go inside a particular container and I want to see the directories, for that I will also use container client. Right now with the blob service client, if you see list containers, create a container, get container list, uh, get container client, then list blobs, upload blobs, download blobs, delete container and blobs. So these are the different operations that you can perform using this blob service client. Now similarly, you know, I also talked about this client, this container client, right? So this container client is nothing but, you know, it is helps you to interact within the container, right? With when you, and you use it along with the blob service client, right? Now again, this is also used for the same kind of operations, uploading the blob, downloading the blobs, listing or deleting, right? So this, the, this is the major use case. Now, how do we do that? So if you look at the command three that I have provided, right now in this command, what you can actually see from Azure storage dot blob, right? So I have to import this blob service client and I have to import container client. So these two things I need to import, right? So from where I will import, I will import it from Azure storage dot blob. That is what I've explained at the top, right? Now, basically I need to give the connection to my storage account. So, you know, I right now, you know, this is a demo. So I'm just directly passing in my account name and the key. Right? So you can also pass in your account name and the key uh, or you can use different methods to connect to the storage account which I have already discussed in one of my videos. Now similarly you have something called as blob service client right because this is what we have imported. Now this takes in few parameters right so the first parameter here is the account URL so this is the blob account URL and then you have the account key so basically to make connection to your storage account now this blob service client has made connection to your storage account using this now once it has made connection to your storage account you can simply say okay blob service client dot list container because this is one of the method that i discussed right list containers so there are multiple methods that you can use so list containers now if you do that and if you run this right and and, and i'm passing the values to the containers over here so then you can simply run a for loop for containers 
in contain for container in container spring container name so the moment you run this part right now my cluster is starting eventually what will happen is all the containers will get listed out so your containers over here will be container container 2 container 3 container 4 so all these containers will be listed out now if i want to go inside a specific container right now in, if i want to go inside a specific container so what i can do i have to use something called as container client right this is the container client that i have talked about right now in this case what do what do i do for container in containers so all the con inside this containers right for container in containers container client is the blob service client i'll use this blob service client and i will say get container client i will say get container client i will use this particular method and i will use the container name right i will use the specific container name that i want to pass right in this case i am passing a for loop right and then i am saying blobs equals to container client or list blobs then i am listing the blobs over here similarly for blob in blobs now i have all the blobs over here right then I, what i am doing i am saying container name dot blob dot name that from that blob give me the container name and what is the directory or what is the blob which is present so now let me execute this one by one to show you as my cluster is also ready now if i run this part let me run this particular part so the moment i run this part right you will actually see that it started listing you container container 2 container 3 and container 4 right so it has listed using this blob service client dot list containers you have listed all the containers now let me comment out this part and uncomment this part and simply run this right now in this case again you will see now let me put the container name over here let, let, let us say that i want to go and i want to delve inside my container 2 if i want to go inside my container 2 which is nothing but which is let me show you let me show you the container let me see this is the correct container name or not so if i go inside my container 2 i should get the list of these two blobs right uh, li list of the blobs which are present inside my container so if i go over here now you see for container in containers right in fact i don't even need to use this uh, particular uh, for loop at this point but anyway so if you see blob service client dot get container client and i'm putting the container name over here and then i'm saying that list the blobs right list the blobs which are present now let me simply run this command now you will see that for container 2 you can see the directory 1 directory 2 3 4 and 5 these are all present so if you see 1 2 3 4 5 all four of them are present now what has just happened over here so if i just remove it it will not print anything eventually right so if you see it has not printed so this blobs contain all my blobs when i say it contains directory 1 2 3 4 and 5 it contains all my directories so the moment i uncomment this right and i run it so it does nothing but it just helps me to print it now in this case i don't need a for loop over here so let me remove this for loop and let me try to show you the execution without this for loop as well so even without the for loop this is going to work because the for loop did not make sense in this particular part now if you see this i hope you understand what has actually happened over here so using the blob service client right i connected to my storage account and i was able to list all the containers which are present now using this blob service client and get and using this container client right i was able to pass in the container name which i want to interact with and then using that container client i was able to list the blob similarly if you want to delete the blob you want to upload a blob all those stuff you can actually do over here right so i hope you like this particular video and you know it it is uh, one of the helpful tra uh, trick when you actually work in a project you might want to you know maybe use such kind of work maybe in a in a script you know uh, and things like that so this is a really helpful thing so i hope you like this particular video and do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel so thank you so much for being till here